What is going on everyone and welcome to a new video. This has been a long time coming and you know what, I just didn't have the motivation to get one of these videos out. It's going to be a full day of eating today. These ones work the best and I wasn't really motivated because no one was watching and now I know that you're watching. You know who you are, you're probably here because I got a mullet and then I vacuumed it and now you're watching what I eat in a day. I've done a couple of these if you wanna go back and look what I did for my whole bodybuilding comp to get super shredded like this. Then go back and watch my whole road to ICM but today I'm going to run through a full day of eating because bro meals are back and bro meals are Meals that are super simple, get your protein in, don't quite have to be low calorie, but they're delicious and they get the results. And that's all that we care about here at All Out Performance Training. If you wanna grab some gear, link in the bio. But I'm gonna run through my full day of eating, not my training today. I'll eventually do an eating challenge in the future. I don't even know what that is. If you do have a challenge for me, an eating challenge, that's not absolutely um, unachievable, chuck it down in the comments below and I'll get around to it, make a decision on that. This is gonna be my full day of eating today. I haven't started eating anything, so I made the decision to get onto this now and let's just jump straight into it. Here we go. All right, so obviously, most important thing in the morning is gonna be coffee. No, it's not greens, it's not nutrition, it's not protein, it is coffee. Because I'm getting up at 4 a.m. and if my clients don't want me to kill them, I need my coffee. Yesterday I went shopping, I don't usually do a week of shopping, I'll just go, hey, I'm gonna go buy two days worth of food, and then I go, I'll go back in two days. No, I don't go back in two days, and then I just end up like buying shit and like spending a fortune on food anyway, even though yesterday it cost me $100, and I'm like, oh my God, that's so much. But usually I'd probably spend what, $200 because I go and eat out all the time. But anyway, to start off, I got some of these. Let's focus up. Nescafe sugar-free caramel latte, 98% sugar-free, so there's a little bit of sugar in there. I had one of those with a little bit of extra coffee. And now I'd usually put a sweetener in those, like a stevia or something. Because I got that, that is like naturally, not naturally sweetened, definitely not naturally sweetened, but it's sweetened. And then we have Makona, so I'll put a spoon of that in as well to bump up the caffeine content because we all need extra caffeine in our life. And then finally, to wrap up the morning of eating before I train, I've got these two up and goes. Hey, these are a delicious way to get more protein in. I guess you could just have a shake, but these have a bit more calories and I'm finding it hard to hit 2,800 calories in a day because I'm like kind of like always on the move. I can't like find time to cook, but for this video, I'm definitely gonna find time to cook. And then before I train, I'll show you that one next because that's gonna be giving me a little bit more energy, some carbs, some fat, feeling good but that's coming up next. So if you guys aren't here because of my mullet video and you haven't seen it yet, then I suggest go over to my Instagram page. If you're not from there, go check it out. That is what I'm talking about at the start. I appreciate everyone that has been giving me the support over this time because I've found a lot of people have come over from that video. They might be like, hey, I'm super into your stuff because you're into lifting. I'm into lifting. I like your mullet. I like your mullet. There's not enough mullets around and you're really shedding a light on that issue. So I'm going to keep going with that issue, probably start a charity or something like that. But uh, I appreciate all of you coming over supporting the video if you could jump down give the video a thumbs up helps the channel more than i guess what it has been doing um it has been doing that great because i haven't been posting but uh we'll get there guys till the next meal thanks guys all right guys next up welcome to my smai sponsored kitchen we have an smai box jump here to support the kitchen hang on then we're up here so what we're going to be doing now is we have toast and a uh, hot plate element hot plate element for the uh toasting because i don't have a toaster here at the moment so i just like legit just get the bread and like drop it on the hot plate it kind of like sticks to it a bit but uh yeah uh, that's how i toast my toast at the moment and then i've just got this Woolworths peanut butter that I'll just put like kind of by my eye because my eye's pretty good after doing like 20 weeks of this in prep. Finding, oh, you may burn the toast. I need to turn it. I think I might set a fire alarm off, but just like 10 grams of peanut butter on that. And then I probably shouldn't be doing this. This is the first time I've actually done this. Usually I put a pan down. Actually, I will. I put a pan down and put the toast into that so it doesn't directly burn onto it. But I've got these two pieces here anyway. 10 grams on there, 10 to 15 grams on there on each piece of bread. So three pieces of bread in total, 10 to 15 grams of peanut butter on each one. It really helps to get your fats up. Feels good for my training sessions. 
I don't know about you guys, I like to eat before I train. It gives me energy. Look at that. That's what I have before I train. Give it a go. The next thing will be my post-training snack. So, see that in a second. All right, I've just finished my training session. It was a pretty big one. I'll put it over here, what I did. And then after that workout, I finished off with a, I do 15K? No, it was 10Ks on the bike. Just on the bike, uh, kind of just like have the legs moving. I'm trying to drop a bit of weight, so I just want to burn more calories. If you're only doing a 20 minute CrossFit workout, you're not gonna burn more calories. Um, you can only burn so many calories in that 20 minutes. So my next meal is going to be one of these, like Musashi bar, you've probably seen them in one of my other full day of eating. But these, I used to just have a shake, uh, like a protein shake. It did not fill me up at all, so I just have one of these. I'm gonna head home now, have a shower and stuff, get back to the gym, there's a little bit I need to do. I'll be able to cook my dinner or lunch at home and then I'll take that to the gym and I'll show you what that is after I get back there. So see you there. All right guys, what's going on? So I've just woken up from a little nap nap after training, uh, but now it's lunch time and I'm going to get into one of my first bro meals, which is going to be kangaroo hot dogs. Uh, so what I'm gonna be using is these kangaroo sausages. So two of these on two mighty soft hot dog buns. I'm gonna be using a slice of the light tasty slice of cheese because I'm out of grated cheese at the moment. Um, and then I use a bit of tomato sauce on that. Also I have 300 grams worth of spud light potatoes which I'm gonna put in the air fryer and make into like hot chips and all I do, no, no oil, just pepper and salt onto those. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give those a cook and show you the end result of that. Alright guys, got the uh, kangaroo sausages here now. Uh, I'm gonna put them on. As I said, I've only got the slices of cheese, so but they are pretty good to be able to measure them like when you scan on my fitness power. So it may not look aesthetic, but it is aesthetic for you, my fitness power, because it's so easy, you don't have to weigh it or anything like that. So we've got those in there. Gonna shake up the tomato sauce. Make sure there's no juice coming out into your bread because then like the red watery shit comes out. Yeah, it's not good. But anyway, uh, you chuck that on there. I don't really measure out the sauces. That's so bro of me. There's already butter on there, so I'll take about 10 grams of that. So they're done there. And to top off the most bro healthy takeaway you'll ever see is the spud light chip. So this here is under 150 calories and it's like just like Hot. It's just like normal chip. So we get that out of there. Like I said, just like normal hot chips. Like I said, just like, but it's not as hot chips are always good. Last one. There we go. The only thing we add to that, other than it being in the air fryer, is our salt and pepper. So plenty of pink salt on there, plenty of pepper to add the flavor. And then finally, we come over and we have our hot dog one and bro hot dog two. And there's our bro meal hot dogs ready to go for lunch. I don't have my Pepsi here, so I'll have one when I get to the gym, but that's it. All right guys, so just about to wrap up my day. Hang on, I need to fix this. Just going to wrap up my day now. Just finished with clients. Uh, it's 10 to eight. I'm pretty hungry. The Pepsi Max got me uh, through the afternoon with those bubbles in my tummy. But now I'm gonna go home and cook my last meal and I've got a little treat that I have as well after dinner. So I'll show you what I have for my last meal of the day, show you what that is, wrap up this video, and I'll see you at home for that.
the video up there. I hope you enjoyed my full day of eating. I hope that gives you a better insight into some bro meals and relaxed ways to hit your macronutrients. Here is the macro breakdown for that day, if you want to check that out. Uh, but other than that, I'm hitting about 2,800 calories. I think about 170 uh, in protein. 360 carbs and 95 fat from memory. I don't think that calculation worked. But that's it. If you guys want to see anything else or similar to this, let me know down in the comments. And till the next video, catch you later.